Hello and welcome to a new episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm Ben Hansen, joined by Kyle Hilliard. Hello. And Leo Vader in the booth. Always an honor. And we are at a Penn and Teller VR experience, everybody. Penn and Teller ver. Okay, this is a bit of a mess. This was captured at E3 2019. Uh, this is me actually playing it. Um, so all these head movements, you can thank me for making you nauseous. Mm. Thank Penn and Teller VR. Uh, some would call it a series of mini games. They prefer calling it a series of bits. These are all real Penn and Teller uh, bits from their show, from their live show. And they've been adapted into VR by Gearbox, everybody. What a surprise. <laughs> Why yes. Gearbox? Uh, because of Randy Pitchford's close, intimate friendship with Penn Jillette, which is odd. So <laughs> right, this is already weird. Here with the occult. That's right. Now let's possible. listen. Let's put you in a place you'd never want to be in real life. Let's put you inside Teller's mouth for your version of our version of the magic bullet. <laughs> Good time. Maybe you've heard of it. It's the most fun. dangerous act in show business. It's a classic of magic. In our version, Teller and I <laughs> ostensibly <laughs> pretend. And you're playing here, Hanson? Yes, real, can't you tell? <laughs> How are you opening the mouth? Teeth. I don't know some trigger on the thing. We've done that absolutely <laughs> real looking but completely <laughs> phony trick <laughs> in our Vegas show for decades. And we're a little tired. So how would you like to take over? We'll sit back on our virtual butts while you do the bullet catching. And we'll let you use Teller's team. You can have any friend you want do the shooting. Hand them one of your controllers now. Hanson, it's a I've seen this before. They're going to kill you. <laughs> Wait, really? It's a murder yeah. simulator? This is a lot of the little bits here are you hand one controller to a friend. The entire game is framed around interacting with a friend. Okay. Uh, there are some tracking issues. Uh, they said it was because... We were literally doing it in a ballerina's ballroom uh, blocks away from E3, which was very confusing. So it explains a little bit of the, the wait, tracking wait, so issues. That's like why. That. <laughs> okay. It, look, it's a long story. Sure, sure. But so uh, wait, real quick. So you're in the VR headset and yes. you are interacting with someone outside of the VR headset who is seeing what you're playing on the screen. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so it's a lot of inviting friends enough. over. There's a lot of pranks and stuff. It's kind of a two player person. emphasis here. Watch carefully. When the bullet is just the right distance from you, use your controller trigger to snap Teller's teeth safely around the bullet. God, Pendulet looks go. beautiful, doesn't he? It's an Ready, amazing model. Aim. Fire. Come on. Come on, me. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. That, is so, that magic? I think it counts, yeah. So what's weird about the history of this game is Gearbox actually made... <laughs> What, your teeth are breaking? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. This is, this is painful. Ge ah. Gearbox made a uh, VR experience that Penn & Teller actually use in their show right now, Ugh. which is separate from this. This is like another game where they're actually adapting their bits, but I assume they like have the theater modeled from that game from the actual uh, Penn & Teller show in Las Vegas. Gotcha. Bullet catch with a shotgun. And here we go. You ready? You better focus. It'll take lightning reflexes to catch all these pellets. <laughs> Catch this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so it said there's that countdown where it said like scare in three seconds or whatever. So the other person actually had it set and then they knew to walk around me and they actually like grabbed me by the shoulders right when that shotgun thing went off. There's a lot of those types of things. In oh, here. so it's encouraging like a third party to like interact with yes. you. Oh, yes. okay. So that's where it, that's kind of, okay. I see now why it's sort of, the magical Teller angle right to become a competitive as you can see here i couldn't see this on my screen but whoever's by the computer it must have been was getting this and the setup for this that i should have set up earlier is that uh they opened this i walked into this e3 appointment and they said hey it's a we've been working a lot with penn and teller so we're going to try out this magic card trick so they gave me a card trick and i got the jack of hearts and then they said, all right. And then we just shuffled it. And they said, is this your card? And they pulled up the wrong card. And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, I guess we're not studying closely enough, right? And then that was forgotten until this section here. Okay. This is it. So this is, I like the idea behind this is that of you messing with people in VR is, is interesting, yes. I think. Yes. In a series of just little, yeah. little bits, right? I can't imagine it's going to have a lot of replay value, but the idea is like, oh, I invite friends over and then you can do these silly pranks. Yeah. Not my fault. Not my fault, but as usual, I'll have to be the hero and save you. I do hey, wish you could kill them here. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> yeah. Quick, help me save them. First, we'll need to get Teller into this crate. 
I wonder if they did do full mocap for for Teller. I'm not sure. Uh, so Teller's choking right now. Yes. He ate those bad mushrooms. Mm, I thought that's how they get you. Okay. All right. This is a magic classic. <laughs> This is one of Randy's go tos. It looks like the mushrooms are stuck inside. Reach up in his top half and pull them out. And there we go. There we go. So it was more impressive in the room when I actually had worked this, but as far as how they actually knew what card I had, I'm still a little bit unclear about that. But other bits that are in this game, uh, there's one that seems like a very fun idea which is, it's just called the Pendulette Experience. And with that one, all you're doing is sitting down in Penn's living room and actually reading through all of Moby Dick one page at a time. It's okay. like the literary equivalent of Desert Bus, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, let's jump ahead and check out some other sections here. Welcome to Virtual Rochambeau from the official Las Vegas Rock, Paper, Scissors Professional Rochambeau Association. The O-L-B-R-P-S-P-R-A, or Olive Rips Pro, as we say for short. There are a lot of theories on how to win at Rochambeau. Some play the game, some play the opponent, and some play theoretically or mathematically. When we moved this game onto a virtual playing field, we took away reading the eyes of your opponent. But we also took away the possibility of cheating. Good trade-off. No more sideways half papers ready to change to rock or scissors. We don't know your strategy, but we know you're going to play fair. You know the rules. Rock beats scissors, scissors beat paper, and paper beats rock. You'll have a count of three to figure out what your opponent will throw and to throw what will beat him or her. Okay, this is another one of the bits. This is the rock, paper, scissors that you can play with a friend. So you're handing, you know, the other controller and VR to them and they're choosing based on which triggers they pull, uh, which they're actually going for here. Okay. Which sounds like, well, this is the most boring VR game of all time. What's the point? The point and the prank is that one person will have a prompt then, which allows them to secretly automate the rock, paper, scissors thing. So it'll keep playing. And then because you have the headset on, you think the person is still standing over there because the digital hand's over there. Yeah. When in reality, the person is free to walk wherever they want. And they encourage you to walk over and, uh, you know, pants scare them. the person. Literally, they said pants them. <laughs> they also said that one time they were playing with Randy Pitchford and they just ghosted him and everybody secretly left the room <laughs> and he was playing rock, paper, scissors for a good. while by himself. I like that. Yeah. I'm into that. It's a weird little thing. Also, apparently it's, it's like coming... a prank simulator. Yeah, yeah it is. but they're yeah. spoiling the pranks at E3. <laughs> uh, so it's coming out June 27th uh, for everything. Uh, they said the PlayStation VR version might slip by a week or something because there's some correction they had to make in there. Uh, but otherwise, it's coming out shockingly soon. Uh, so if you're a fan of Pet and Teller, here's their best game or, since the old Desert Bus game. Or just a fan of messing with your friends. Yeah, there we go. Check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for watching New Gameplay today. It's our pleasure to bring you fun, unscripted looks at the game releases of the week and beyond. Subscribe on YouTube to get them delivered to your feed at no cost. New Gameplay today. It's for casual friends.